When we began homesteading a few years ago, we wondered how we could have soap when SHTF happens. Of course, we can make lye soap with ashes and either tallow or lard. However, until SHTF happens, we wanted to make our own detergent and stay away from all the toxic, unnatural chemicals that are in commercial clothes detergents. Even if it says organic or all natural, it could still have harmful chemicals in it. The way that they can get away with this and all these loopholes is called green washing. I am going to take you through the steps of making a non-toxic detergent today. It fights stains better than commercial detergent and it is cheap. It depends on your location and your costs, but for me, this homemade detergent makes approximately 100 loads and costs around two cents per gallon. You will need borax, castile soap, and washing soda. Now, don't get this mixed up with baking soda. The boxes look very similar. It must say washing soda. This is a bit more difficult to find, so if you do find it, you should get a couple of boxes. Borax and Castile soap are pretty easy to find. For the soap, you can use bar soap or liquid soap. I have liquid here. However, if you have the Kirk's or Zotes bar soap, all you would need to do is grate it up and melt it into non-chlorinated water. Then pour this into your detergent mixture. If you want a scented detergent, you can easily take a fragrant herb, make a tea with it, and add it into the detergent. I have lots of lavender growing, so I clipped a few flowers and stems and made a tea. If I were making a tea for consumption, I would make sure to cover it so the medicinal benefits wouldn't evaporate before I drank it. However, I am using this tea for a lavender scented detergent, so I will quickly heat the water, add the lavender, and steep. I am going to make two and a half gallons at one time. This will last me quite a while. To make two and a half gallons, I am using a five gallon bucket. Inside, I place two quarts of lavender tea in which I have heated. If I were using bar soap, I would grate three ounces of it and put it into the hot tea to melt. Instead, I am placing three ounces of the liquid soap into the bucket with the warm tea. Then I add one half of a cup of borax and one half of a cup of the washing soda. To this, I fill the bucket half full of hot, non-chlorinated water. This needs to be hot, not boiling, and not just warm water. Stir this up well and let it set for 24 hours. After 24 hours, stir it again and you are ready to use it. I am going to divide the mixture into empty detergent bottles I've had in the past to make it easier for me when I use it. To use the detergent, I put a half of a cup in a load of laundry. I promise it will wash better than the commercial detergent and you don't have to worry about anything toxic. If you have sensitive skin, this is a wonderful option. These three ingredients will last you a very long time. Give it a try. See what you think. Let me know if you do try it. SHTF Survival Homestead Teaching Farm thanks you for watching this video. Please continue to help us help you by liking, sharing, and subscribing.